Big day today, innit? Yeah. What are we doing? Looking at motorhomes. <laughs> Going looking at motorhomes. Yeah, the 696G. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Can we just mingle around and have a look yeah, around? Yeah, just mingle around, they're all open. This one. This is the one we've been looking at for quite a while now. Auto Trail. This is the Auto Trail Cheyenne we've been looking at. Cab, blinds, blinds come across the windows. Cubby hole up here is the amazing fucking reading space. So this folds as ladders. A lot of electrics going on here. This is like the brain of the thing. This is our first time buying a motor and you can tell because we're just getting way too excited. Ow! Oh look, this is our cake coming in out. You can get both of us in. Is there a table in there? Hey there. This is where I'll put all my sweeties Oh, your sweeties. I'm not some Nazi. Does that open? You put your head out of it like. No mm. world. I love how easy they are to move. Nice little shower. It's a bit wet, isn't it? Door to the garage. Should we go take a look at the garage? Motorhomes, they've got a huge garage bikes. This one's funny, it's got a window on. That's a bit strange. It's strange having bikes in there. Bikes. Let's see. Can you pull that down? Extra space for like pie. Is that actually a hose pipe? I have a hose pipe already built in. Massive garage for the bikes. I'm not sure about that though, like we've got bikes in there. It's a beast. Six and a half meters long. I think you need to fast forward this pit and put the Harry thing and fit the thingy theme tune to it like that. <laughs> because I want to know how long it's going to take for you to uh, work out how to spin it around. Hey, finally! What do you think of it? I like it. I like my bedroom, the main bedroom. Do I fit in the, sh I fit in the shower? See, this why you needed me, here. Huh? About this one. Adria. I'll have a look. Dude! You got reclining beds! Look at the fridge as well, you press the button near to you at the top. No, not that, Amanda. Where? Other side, on oh, no. Other side. Yep. Oh. You should be a motorhome sales rep. Hey, and there's one I made earlier. That hasn't got a garage. No extra bed. You have to open it. Whoa, shitting hell. And your bed. <laughs> Cinnamon, paprika, five spice, smoke paprika. Can you see if it'll start? I told him if I drove away in it, what would he do? Start. Good. Better than the last thing you tried to pick up. Goodbye, home. So, it is 7.39 and I'm currently sat in McDonald's with a coffee. And so what you've just seen is me, Amanda, and my sister's escapade of going looking at motorhomes. Now, all sounds amazing and it's real exciting. The only problem is what I didn't take into account before we started looking at motorhomes was whether or not I would have to take an extra license to drive a bigger vehicle. It turns out that some of the motorhomes we've been looking at fall just over that three and a half ton payload. Now, that basically means I have to take a license that will upgrade my driving license so I can 
um, drive bigger vehicles, which is a bit of a spanner in the works, but nevertheless, um, we're going down that route. I've had to get like a medical examination, send some stuff off the DVLA. It's probably going to take a couple of weeks to sort out, but we are crossing our fingers to hope that the motorhome you saw just then will be ours in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned and we'll keep you updated on this like mad adventure and journey and we'll, uh, we'll see where we go with things.